This third video in my quest for decent internet speeds is to share my experience of fixing the pointing AXPOL 0001 V221 external omnidirectional antenna to the exterior of the house. For context, I am based in a remote part of the Scottish Highlands where broadband speeds are feeble and so decided to go down the 4G router route with a TP-Link Archer MR600 and an O2 SIM card I do not have direct line of sight to a Tycom's mast. I'd had excellent results using the pointing antenna in my camper van and decided to permanently fix the antenna to the outside of the house despite having reasonable speeds using the stock antenna on the MR600. I bought a very reasonably priced swan necked antenna pole from Amazon and duly fixed it to the soffit outside the window which gave the best results with the MR600 stock antenna. I didn't fix it any higher than shown because of the huge winter winds here, the tiles on the roof only just survive so a plastic box on an aluminium pole wouldn't last two winters. The AX Pole 1 is described as omnidirectional, well that may be true when it has line of sight with a mast but it's definitely not the case when it needs to seek a signal through a plethora of obstacles. To remove a few variables in the speed tests, they were conducted with the VPN off and the router connected directly to an old laptop with a CAT6 cable. To start with, I positioned the antenna in three separate positions on the mast, parallel to the house front and pointing 45 degrees to the left and 45 degrees to the right. In each case, I ran six speed tests and I discounted the highest and lowest speeds as outliers and took the average of the middle four results for comparison. These are the results with the antenna parallel to the house. This is it with the pointing facing 45 degrees to the right. And here with the pointing antenna facing 45 degrees to the left. The fastest upload speeds were with the antenna box parallel to the house and the fastest download speeds with it facing 45 degrees to the right. These are the speeds of the antenna oriented about 22-23 degrees to the house and which delivered the best results overall. Obviously these results are only relevant to my specific location, however having found the sweet spot for the antenna, the end result was well worth the effort. And whilst the antenna may be omnidirectional for others, in my case taking the time to position it on the pole paid huge dividends. The downside of replacing the stock antenna however was that the wireless signal in the house was much reduced and it was only after adding a Wi-Fi extender that normal service was resumed. The bottom line is that upload speeds are now around 18 to 19 times faster than when I was dependent on a landline and download speeds are four times faster. It's all good.